<laughs> well, here we are again, guys. Another Gundam Universe figure review. In all honesty, I don't hate the line per se. I just really had high hopes for it when I first heard about it. Some affordable six inch figures really sounds good, but the execution so far has been extremely lackluster. And to be honest with this new line, well, the new wave, I'm not really too hopeful. So let's go ahead and check out the new Char Zaku 2. Now, if you want this or any of the other Gundam Universe line figures, you can go to Hobby Link Japan in the link down below and pick up some for yourself. They're going for about 2,500 yen, so pretty affordable. Now, just to talk about the packaging, honestly, it's kind of traditional Western packaging. You got the window for how you see the figure, and that's really about it. It's just something that you hang up on a shelf and like next to Transformer toys or something. The one thing I do say about these is... The art is fantastic on the front. I love this illustration on the front, and I really wish we had more like maybe like wallpaper of it or something that they would distribute on the website. I would download the wallpaper of this any day and put it on my phone. And on the back, nothing really too spectacular. It's just pretty much description of the articulation and I guess like the little weapons and stuff that it comes with. That's about it. And also the new line that I will be getting into later on this week. And now we have it out of the packaging. What it comes with is very little stuff. It's going to have the stand adapter, the two hands, it's going to have the beam axe, as well as the machine gun. All honestly, it's nothing that's too off of what we've seen with the high grade line. It just comes with very minimum stuff. You usually get the extra accessories when you go into like the master grade line. Now let's talk details. Really, it doesn't look bad. Uh, proportions are a little bit weird, like it's bulky in many areas that I really feel like it really shouldn't. Uh, the legs are a little bit bigger than I am kind of like, you know, used to. Uh, the arms and shoulders especially are just huge. I don't get why they went with that approach. Uh, the head just seems a little bit more tiny than it really should. But the surface level details look fantastic. I actually like all the extra panels and stuff that goes on with this figure. It, it looks pretty good if it's just like standing there at a distance. I don't really think it looks that bad. Now at retail, this goes for about 3,000 yen. So it's a lot of money for what you're getting. Like, I just think the soft plastic that they just keep using is not worth a $30 price tag. Now, unless it came with a bunch of accessories, it had fantastic articulation, that might warrant that price tag. But as of right now, it's more of like a $20 figure. So I've been seeing a lot of places already busting down the price before it even comes out. So you could generally pick this up for about 2,500 yen. Sometimes you could probably find it for about 2,000 yen if you're lucky. Now for articulation, guys, what would you expect? This is going to be horrible articulation, much as the Gundam Universe line already is. I just haven't found that one figure that just really has that good articulation, so that way I can put in some dynamic poses. This is just bad, and I know people have like some kind of deep love for this line. I don't get it, to be honest. Uh, I mean, if you like the line, fine but I don't think you can really defend it in terms of articulation. The only thing you can really defend is possibly the, uh, the surface level details. It has panel lines, but other than that, it's not having like a bunch of different color applications to it. It has at most like four different colors on the actual figure. But anyways, the articulation is just really, really bad. And plus, mine straight out of the box has these ridiculously loose hips, and I just don't get it. Why is it like this? Is there not any kind of like pre-inspection to these things going out? This should have been identified before it even hit the packaging, but it is what it is, I guess. Now, you can take off the head, and you can move the mono eye left or right, so that's actually a pretty good gimmick I didn't think was going to be included. Now, let's talk about the accessories again. We have the beam axe, which is not bad. It looks okay-ish, uh, but you can store it on the back skirt or the side skirt, so weapon storage is always appreciative. I do think the posability with the axe is just going to be non-existent. I don't see it 
really being that great because the joints in the shoulder just don't really move well and uh, it doesn't really help that you have like the shoulder armor just kind of like getting in the way and let's talk about the last accessory which is going to be the machine gun it's pretty cool the handle can move back and forth so that way it can actually be grabbed on with the left hand but that's really it it's just one solid gray color nothing really too spectacular uh, it, it looks kind of cheap to be honest um but I, I guess like that's probably going to be like one of the better poses that you could do is going to be with the machine gun instead of the axe so uh, i guess it's okay uh, at least it did come with a machine gun so that's not bad um i, I didn't even think it was going to come with uh the axe so and it has two different weapons that you can actually choose from when you do your poses and if you are going to display it, I do recommend having the RX-78 with it because, you know, it needs a companion. And I do think the RX-78 is one of the better Gundam Universe line figures. So, hey, go ahead and grab that one and pair it up with this one, especially since that's like one of the uh, first waves. You could probably get it for maybe about like 15, maybe even $10 if you can get it secondhand. Now, for comparison, here it is next to the high grade origin Zaku 2 and the Master Grade 2.0 Zaku 2. All right, guys, this is the end of the review. To be honest, look, some people out there are going to want this figure, and I'm like, that's fine. Get it if you want it. I'm, I'm here to just give my, I suppose, a bias opinion, um, and I'm sorry, Hobby Link Japan. I, you know, I'm doing this for you guys, but I, I can't in goodwill just recommend something that is bad in my opinion i think that most of these figures are bad some of them are decent the easy eight the death scythe the arc 78-2 those are fine figures and i i'm personally keeping those in my collection the rest i've pretty much gotten rid of and the tall geese is a little bit of an exception as well but the wing binders don't even open up like the thrusters but for this thing i just can't just I can't say anything positive except for it looks okay-ish when it's standing. Other than that, I just don't think it's that great of a figure. Your money is going to be better off just going into the high-grade origin Zaku 2. That's just a much better Zaku. Or you can get the new one that just came out, the new high-grade that released, I believe, last year. Uh, raving reviews. It looks fantastic. Comes with good amount of accessories. So for this, guys, it is going to be a 100% drop it. Just not worth your money in any way. But look, it's it's your money, guys. Go ahead and spend it however you want. But you come to this review and you probably already know that it's just really not going to be a great figure without my input because historically, most people just don't like it. But I have seen a little bit of a group of people that generally do want these figures in their collection. They love them. They collect every single one. So more, par more power to them. But I really just get a sour taste in my mouth when we're supporting this line. And uh, I'm at fault, too, because I did purchase all these. Um, I, but I did it for you guys because I want to show you that this is uh, either a good figure or it is a bad figure. And to be honest... It's a bad figure. I, I really can't justify it any further. Just go get something else. The the Ver anime I think is probably around like forty or fifty bucks at this point. So get the Ver anime. That's a fantastic looking figure. Uh, comes with lots of accessories and lots of effect parts. Get the high grade, the master grade 2.0. That's like thirty bucks, thirty five dollars. So yeah, I think your money is going to be well off um, with other types of products. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to the members. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And stay tuned for the other two in this wave. So those should be coming out later on this week. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.